It's a staggering number. When you look at the effect of immunotherapy, uh, despite uh, its beneficial effect, uh, that has led to 41% uh, area in, in Alzheimer's disease patients. Uh, most, most of it is detected through imaging modalities. Uh, as uh, to my knowledge so far, nobody has undertaken research to try to understand the molecular mechanism and the lying uh, area. We were interested in the context initially of Bryant disease where we discovered that cross-linking PRP, uh, PRPC, the uh, cellular uh, prime protein, led to disturbances uh, mainly related to allergy. Uh, in the context of uh, using a mouse model of Brian, uh, we, saw, uh, we saw an area-like behavior when using infusion of this immunotherapeutic antibody into, into the brain. So from, from that, we uh, reasoned probably sim similar events might have occurred in, in Alzheimer patient, but we also see that in Alzheimer's disease, uh, animal models, uh, so mainly mainly mouse models. So from that point, we used uh, similar antibodies used by uh, large companies in the context of uh, treating Alzheimer patients in clinical trials. And to our surprise, what we discovered is that uh, these antibodies led to mainly immunological disturbances related to allergy. More specifically, uh, type one hypersensitivity. But also, it was intriguing for us to see that, uh, and this is in the context of using stem cells and other cell lines, uh, there was a clear shift from an anti inflammatory to a, a, a pro inflammatory cytokine pro profile. And that was exacerbated if uh, microglia were added into the mix. We have some studies uh, uh, currently being undertaken in mouse models. Uh, to cut the story short, what we've discovered is that this high, type 1 hypersensitive pathway uh, is not related to histamine, so it's histamine and dependent pathway. We are looking into two different specific pathways, but uh, I think our study does highlight the importance of including that sort of characterization and screening regimen part of this trial. So we do believe it's important to select those immunotherapy antibodies by adding an extra layer, uh, looking specifically on whether these antibodies might be uh, involved in causing toxicity, but more specifically, uh, type 1 uh, hypersensitivity. And the assays are well established to do that. So uh, this is not really taxing to uh, uh, medical research institutes and companies to be able to add that extra step, an extra layer into the characterization process.